Welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced 2. I want to do this side quest, Wayward Drake, that became available to us now. I awoke one morning to find my Drake, Good, missing without a trace. I haven't the slightest notion where he might have gone. Well, that's not entirely true. I've heard rumor that a Drake was recently sighted in the Aldana Range. I need someone to venture there and discover whether or not it is my dear Good. By Mr. Gran. Oh, I don't want a dispatch for this. Call back. I want to do it myself. It recommends an Arcanist for dispatch. But we don't need one. If we just go there ourselves. I want to quickly look over my party. I think it's all the way I want it to be. What are you learning? Rent magic. Yeah, I think I put them all back to the way I wanted them to be for now. There are always changes to make later on. What do we have? I see three drakes and a werewolf. We can go to good and defeat all foes. Ice is forbidden. That really is all of them. Okay, this should be... This is doable, I feel like. Eggle, Nay. Adele. Well, and you two, I guess. Nate, uh, what are you learning right now, actually? Kira. Oh, but you're still not done with that. Huh. I want to look at their power. It's not so bad. It's not so bad, I think. We will try beating them with... Oh yeah, I got some more of these by doing clan trials. So I have speed up three, moderately raises speed. I have empowered Moogles. Moogul units receive bonuses to attack, defense, and other attributes, which is good, I guess. I have one Moogle in my clan, though. Bonus AP and bonus clan points. What do I want to do? Speed up three sounds pretty good. Bonus AP will help me as well, though. So let's do that. I think speed might be really useful. There is the Drake we're after. It looks a bit worked up. Better wear it down before we try to capture it. Taking care of these other monsters first wouldn't hurt either. So by weaken, they just mean get him down to critical HP without actually defeating him. Move up one spot. And throw some fire on him. And defeat all foes so it's not optional. They make it sound like it's optional. Oh, it wouldn't hurt to defeat all these other guys. But you have to. So get KO all these other guys. And get good here of down to uh, critical HP. So glad we learned air render. Can you believe Nimrod did not have any ranged attacks until now? Wow. Assault does a lot of damage, but I think that's the point of it. Immobilize? Ew. Oh, what would be better? To cure her? Blue magic? Oh, I didn't equip any damaging magic. Uh. I guess I am just casting cure then. I just made a mistake. 
I should have equipped him with black magic. But you have black magic. Except... I have to move out of the way. No, that doesn't hit him. Uh, okay, so that's not gonna work. Uh, you could just wait. That probably also works. Uh, you do have to move up. And take down... We'll just attack this guy, I guess. Strike. And now it's their turn. Dragon Force. Just buffs their stats. Attack and magic. He's a Thunder Drake. Oh, they all do kind of do a lot of damage, huh? It's kind of crazy to me that... We're this far. Ugh, where do you want... Where do I... Can I go? We're this far into our playthrough. And we still take so much damage. Even at this these levels. I guess we're similar in level to them. Explore anything we can use? No. Just move. Quick magic. I cannot get rid of her immobilization. Unless I had items. What would a regular attack do? Not a lot of damage. I actually... Can't hit him with magic. Oh, now I see why ice is forbidden. Because he's weak against it. Good, that is. not going the way I want so far. Move around him. See, difference between 45, 30 damage and 45 damage is pretty good to me. 58, yes. There we go, now it's a frontal attack. Not so bad. He can't do abilities while he's berserking. Also want to see the difference here. Attack 45. I keep clicking Arts of War. Air render 57, that's better. We should be out of range out of for two of them. Now <laughs> you can buff other people with it. That is also a blue mage spell I could learn, Dragon Force, but I would have to have him cast it on me. And obviously that's not going to happen. Unless I had to do appropriate beast lore for it. But let's me control them. There. Nate, can you do anything useful? Kira, yeah, that'll do. A 
But this dragon is going to hurt me. Oh, that's not so bad. One target with Thunder Breath. This is why you have to be careful how you position your people, because Thunder Breath can hit four squares. Red magic. Weaken this little good dragon. Ooh, I wonder if attacking from the rear... Yeah, you can defeat him. Boom, KO. I think I don't want to damage Goot too much in case... Because I think I run the risk of defeating him, KOing him with counterattack. Immobilize Fades. That is... Splintastic. And a trap. <laughs> That's less so. Air render. See, that's good damage. Action. To Fyra. Yeah. The golden uh, dragons. Are more resistant. Or are not resistant to fire like good is. But I don't want to hit my own. I don't want to hit good. Well, we'll do it anyway. We're healing the enemy. But also my own character. We can always hit him again. Two good hits. And this gold dragon is gone. One air render from the side. We'll put you down a critical. And then uh, that won't won't quite do it. One fire. Oh, I didn't point this out yet, but something I missed from the first game that you'll notice is a difference. You do have just a law here, like no ice, and there's no... It doesn't get upgraded to, like, you have other rules now that you... More than one rule to abide by in a battle. You'll remember from the first game that there were first one, and then later two, and then three rules that you have to all abide by in a battle. So it became pretty complicated, and then the game gives you law cards to try and change them a little bit more to your liking. But what the first game also had is it had things that were preferred. So the, every law had an opposite of something that they recommend you do instead. So it's, it was like, okay, no ice, but we recommend fire. So anything you, anytime you used fire, you would get a judge point. There we go, that should do it. There we are, now let's get him home before something spooks him. Hey, a bunch of level ups. So in this game you now have this. You follow the law, you get the law bonus, which is just some assorted loot, which is still very nice. And in the other game, you had judge points, which you built up to be able to do your combo attacks. Or summon your Totema god for like an ultimate attack. So that's different in, in this game versus the old one. You mastered Fyra and Thundera. And I will give you the rod to get Blizzara. 
You could become a time mage already. These accomplished mages can alter space and time. Wouldn't you think so? So they could learn... That's very cool, because you can be learn haste, reflect, reflect bounces back spells at the caster. And this one is nothing. That's all the staffs I have for a time mage so far. But haste is obviously very good. Reflect could be if you know you're up against a powerful magic opponent. I really need to find a way to level you up, Bloodrance. I'd like him to be a gunner, I think. But I need... Well, I need an animus power, which he has. Are there other animus... Powers? Nope. Not yet. What was that? Alchemist. Yeah, never mind. We'll get you somewhere later on. I can always do the easy clan trials and just use him to try and get him XP. Gren is also a mess. I don't know what to do with him yet. There's only four classes for the Seek. They're supposedly pretty useful. I'm just not entirely sure what to do with them. Let's see what is available at the pub today. Notices? No. Quests? Rank 17 stuff. And still out of gluttonous we can't do. I can try and waste some time and see what happens next month. So I'll be right back while I do that. It is a new month. It is the month of Gold Sun. And there are some very low level quests available. Here, wanted barmaid. Satisfied petitioner. To assist, we're currently on the lookout for attractive barmaids. During the month of the festival, you'll be provided with lodging at the pub. Let's see those applicants. And it just says satisfied petitioner. I assume you just have to have a female party member for this. And this is in Targ Wood, so we will take this one. And next up, Great Land Festival. Kamoa, Silver Sun. Well, it will be Silver Sun soon, and in Kamoa, Silver Sun means the Great Land Festival. Ten days, lodging and board provided. Come, come all. So that is similar. Let's see what I need for that. I just learned I need a juggler class for that. I don't have that. It's a Moogle class. Sun Ripened Mayhem. Escorts. That is something we can do. My fields are overrun with cockatrices. I need someone to save my tomatoes. I can't offer much in the way of a reward, but I'm desperate. Those tomatoes are special. Oh, and the cockatrices spook real easy, so don't bring a whole bunch of folk or they'll just run off and hide. We can do that. And... Where is this? Camera. Be seeing you. So let's first do Targ Wood. Attractive Barmaid Sought. <sighs> Dispatch the right person for the job. Come to accept my request. Yeah, I'd love to help out. Festivals are the best. Uh, that's great, but I need a barmaid. Someone cuter than you. They'll need to be available for 14 days until the festival is over. I mean, have you met Ney? Other than uh, Gren over here, the cutest person that I have on my team. There's a lot to be done, both in the kitchen and out here with the customers. I know little of the barmaid's trade, but it is a festival and I'm certain the experience will be enjoyable. Well... Let's hope that works out. And then... 
Saving some tomatoes. Oh yeah, look, they're the little birds from the very first mission. Protect the tomatoes and defeat all foes. Actions targeting all units are forbidden. That's easy enough. So the only trick here is that, well, we can only bring four people. And we have to make sure these tomatoes survive. That will be easy enough. Hmm. We bring one of you two. I'll bring an unconventional party for this. I'll bring bonus AP. Coron. Scraw. These are the tomatoes we're supposed to keep safe. Yeah, remember these guys? They're talking to each other. I think these cockatrices want to make a meal out of the tomatoes. I don't even want to know what they taste like. They taste like? They taste like? I assume they taste like tomato. And yeah, that's all. Just rush forward. You guys should stay... <laughs> you should stay back, little guys, please. Just rush forward. They uh, are determined to... immediately run into the heat of battle, apparently. Oh, critical hit. Thanks, not bad. Twenty-five damage. Okay, that's manageable. I think we can take them out very quickly. Our turn. I did not bring anyone that can heal the tomatoes. So. I'm just relying on being able to damage them really hard and having magic. Forty six damage. That's great. Uh, yeah, don't just rush past him, even. That'll be fine. I think we could 1-2 this guy and... They're down a critical. And then you can finish him off, blood. 51 damage. Whoa. Okay, now this guy, yeah, he's running away. Can't even get to the tomato without making it past us. Only this guy I'm a little worried for. Yeah, he might be doomed. Can I? I can't hit him. Cannot get to him. My movement is too... The range is too small. No, he retreats! What is that? Scurry. Haste on himself. Interesting. It won't help him. I gotta stand here?
Actually, I think... I think I best stand here. No, that's also not a good spot. Hang, in, hang on. I'm figuring this out. Magic this guy. And I have to hope that... Oh. Well. No, this would work out. You hit him in the bank. He's not going to be able to do much damage to you anymore. I... <laughs> Now I'm forced on this side to just chase after this enemy chicken. Oh, he might come towards me now. Tomato will serve as bait. That worked easy enough. And you are finally within range. And you'll throw arrow at him. KO. Okay, and now there's just one of them left. rush in and get it done as quick as we can. Yes, you can actually hit him. Oh, it won't defeat him in one hit, though. Oh, your attack is not going to cut it either. Just hide behind me, take cover. Now it's his turn. He'll probably scurry as well. Yep. Okay, well, we already know that uh, Bartle here isn't going to be able to do anything anymore. His movement is just not good enough. Adele's movement is fantastic. And she'll finish it up. The tomatoes are safe and they seem happy enough. But what happens to them now? Are they still going to end up being someone's dinner? There we go. 50 ability points. Which... Okay, there we go. Nate. Why was I giving you this again? Illusionist? Was that the reason? I think it was for Seer later on in the future. Uh, we had you learning some thief stuff. Yeah, what do I want to do with him? What if I make you back into a black mage? And... We just let you learn more black mage stuff. Because when you level up, that will also... Ensure that you... Uh, get magic stat growths. And then we can also look at the clan menu. And quest list. Dispatched. Oh, it said 12 days. 12 days until the barmaid quest is over. Now it's been 12 days. And it was a success. She got no XP from it. But we got some ability points. Well, that's something. I think there's nothing else we can do during Gold Sun. 
And Komodo Dep Oh, that's the one that went wrong so badly for earlier. Hesitant to try Komodo Departure again. But I also skip until it's the next month. Silver Sun, I imagine it was. And, uh... We'll see if any new quests are available then. So I'll see you next time.